Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the build-up, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down. This is where it happens in age. Lost the words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose, Nama Yunus, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Right hand punch to clinch. Oh, a huge block there. Superman punch. That punch, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Oh, beautiful 
coach had there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. That shot blocked by McGregor. A oh, little single collar tie there. McGregor gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. The one-two punch is true. Just misses there with the left. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Massive knee to the body land. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes. Have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, you heard Bally Jeff. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice head kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge knee lands from close. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice hook by McGregor. And they separate. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, head kick blocked, though. Oh! He needs to start looking for the finish now because he's got it very bad. connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Conor McGregor gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Ooh, blocks the shot. Round one winding down here. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicked. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Cut on the bridge of the nose. Oh, the 
Mount Ireland native Conor McGregor seems to have found his range early here tonight. It's amazing. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. on point. Oh! Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He should never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, he's gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's moment. McGregor gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Beautiful head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go change that finish down now. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Blocks the shot. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice punch land. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Get the turtle in that kick. Lands with the knee to the body. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous That's hands. That's a perfect speed. scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time hitting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Powerful leg kick land. All right, round three coming up next. All 
right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Third round underway. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight! Big knee to the body. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Nice body. Just out of range with that right hook. Well come. Oh! off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, McGregor's got the full mount. Lands the grounded pound strike here. up again here, but Hurton, oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just over three minutes to go now, and they separate. Oh, nice check on the leg kickoff right there, and just like that, the fight is over. Holy Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official decision. Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.